These golden rings could suggest liver failure. What you're seeing are Kaiser Fleischer rings, a classic spot diagnosis of Wilson's disease. It's a rare condition, but super high yield for your medical exams. Wilson's disease is a disorder of copper metabolism. Copper is usually used for nerve health, for energy production, and as an antioxidant. It's absorbed in the GI tract and then rests up in the liver. For it to get to the tissues, it needs a helping hand. Just like iron requires transferring to move through the blood, copper requires a protein called celluloplasmin. But in Wilson's disease, there's a problem at packaging that copper into celluloplasmin, most often due to a defect in something called ATP7. B. That's one you're going to need to remember. In this case, copper can't go anywhere, so it keeps accumulating in those hepatocytes. But the liver doesn't like that, and over time it causes hepatocyte injury. When enough's enough, that copper will burst out and deposit into other tissues. And to remember this, I want you to think of three structures. The liver, like we've just said, but also the brain and the eyes. In the liver, we said it causes hepatocyte injury. So think of your hepatitis symptoms, and over time, that can lead to cirrhosis and all the other features of decompensated liver disease. For the brain, think of movement disorders, which can be similar to Parkinson's disease or cognitive dysfunction, progressing all the way to dementia. Whilst we're on the topic of the brain, also think of psychiatric issues. There may be problems with behavior like aggression or impulsivity. It's typically the first symptom in teenagers. And lastly, the eyes, like the Kaiser Fleischer rings, which we've already mentioned. And now you know, but trust me, you're gonna remember all of this for way longer if you test your active recall right now. So in the comments below, I want you to recall the gene which is most often implicated in Wilson's disease.